The Ride Pier Company built a second pier alongside the first with a double track tramway. Well, we've arrived Saturday morning, half past eight, at the ride on the Isle of Wight, ready for a circumnavigation of the island with my favourite daughter and a beautiful day, albeit bloody, as they say, cold. No. Now unfortunately the route that we normally take through cows takes us across a floating bridge and we just passed the sign saying the floating bridge had floated away so we've had to take a detour down this path that may or may not be a cycle path although it's a cycle path for us because we're cycling along it just to reiterate what I said at the beginning of the ride it's a beautiful day here in Valamoy but my god is it cold is it cold? It is cold. Leave a comment down below if you think it isn't cold. Well, we've got a little bit, a little bit lost, I suppose, and have locked up at one of Her Majesty's prisons here on the Isle of Wight. I must say, I, a location where I spend really a happy afternoon in my misspent youth. Anyway, we're now trying to find the road that leads to cows. Well, we found a road that leads to cows. Pretty busy, but uh, what can you do? Well, we managed to escape from uh, Pankhurst Prison, named after uh, Emily Pankhurst, the uh, famous uh, feminist and uh, ardent campaigner for uh, prison and we've now emerged onto relatively quieter roads although as you can tell the Isle of Wight is one of those places, a bit like Lanzarote by the way, where the A roads are kind of also the V roads and they're kind of also the C roads. So not the C roads but you know C roads. And so they tend to be both quiet and busy at the same time, if that makes any kind of sense. Not sure if it does. I noticed that my nose drips while I'm cycling. I'll try and I'll try and show you. Can you see? I don't think you said actually drip, but you may be able to see a certain telltale dampness on the end of my nostrils. Now why, why does that happen? Now it may surprise you to learn that I have quite an important job but my nose doesn't drip while I'm at work and imagine if I was sitting at my desk making important decisions and all the while there was a steady stream of liquid 
emerging from my nostrils to interfere with the performance of my duty. So I don't understand the science behind nose drifting. If you do, leave a comment down below. You can see, frankly, in the distance ahead of me, that is my favourite daughter. But she's not very keen on being filmed, so I won't get too close. This is Porchfield. Strange name. Well, we've arrived at Yarmouth and have stopped at a cafe to have some substance. Substance, that's an odd way of putting it. We're having a, uh, well, I'm having a Lotus Biscoff biscuit, which I must run a parcel to. And this here, not my hand, is here, which is a flapjack. Looks rather tasty, doesn't it? Yeah. Um, beautiful day in terms of blue sky, sunshine, not a cloud to spoil the view. Actually, there are some clouds to spoil the view. And uh, there's a couple of dogs there. Uh, they're still cold. Very cold indeed, in fact. Do you want to see me? Welcome. Welcome to a ride on the Isle of Wight. We arrived at ride and then rode on. So we shall soon be riding back to ride and having ridden back to ride we would have done our ride through ride and rode home only we're not riding home from ride we're getting the ferry and then the car camper van yes will you get to see the camper van i'm not sure about that rocking the old um bandana today and not actually on the bompton and the reason i'm not on the bompton is because I'm on the old Bayer and Rachel is my favourite daughter she's riding her Liv Liv which is a, a giant brand well a brand of giant which is a kind of women's specific version I suppose you could say mine is a men's specific version I'm not 100% sure that it is anyway that's the old Bayer Terror not the Bompton Terror Right, this is Pier Toll, 50p, but nobody would pay the money to. Perhaps if I go up closer and try and get through, somebody will suddenly leap out and stop me. Have they stopped me? They haven't stopped me yet. Oh, I'm through, I'm through, and I haven't paid my 50p. No, that is not right, except you shouldn't do that. You should pay the money that you owe. You should pay your 50p. So that's why I've come back out again 50p lighter, or rather not 50p lighter because I haven't paid it. Anyway, that's the pier, 50p pier toll. And here, the sign that sums up my life. Never find a paddle. Always stuck in a barbed wire canoe with ship music in the background. That's all you get to see of Rachel. She doesn't like being filmed. I'll hurry up. You realise that's now on film, immortalised. Doesn't ring a bell. Now this is Yarmouth and Yarmouth Harbour, which is actually on the other side of the road. I always stop at the same cafe when I do this ride. I don't normally stop and take this, take some film of this view. Oh, nice, isn't it? Well, attractive, as they say. Rachel wanted a picture too. Some people walking past could be Yarmouth residents, I suppose. There's a kind of boat yard. Well, we've reached 
the needles old and new battery uh, needles is an old English word meaning noodles and noodles was all the soldiers who were stationed here during the Napoleonic Wars were given to eat and so the name so the name needles subsequently stuck what you can see down there is uh, old Harry rocks with uh, the lighthouse named old Harry because Harry who was the lighthouse keeper is actually still buried in that lighthouse we 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 please ignore the continuity announcer in the background who is trying to spoil this video for my loyal viewers but she will not succeed despite her best efforts and incidentally it's not rubbish it's all true well didn't need that sniff did you i needed it you didn't need it but it's instead of music loyal viewers of my channel will know if there's one thing i hate it's that rubbish royalty free youtube music that you get and you don't get that on my videos because i think it's shit there comes the supply ship to supply the troops with more noodles or needles they uh, didn't get any sauce with their noodles which was a source of great annoyance to them but they were ignored now this descent down from the needles battery uh, it's an ever ready battery by the way uh, two and a half volts uh, it's quite alpine and here there is a kind of hairpin or half a hairpin can you have half a hairpin so if you can and then it goes around here Whee! you like that Whee! that's irritating isn't it you don't want to hear that too often I might decide to add some really shitty royalty free YouTube music at this point just to annoy those people like me who really hate royalty free YouTube music. I suppose the reason it's royalty free is that nobody would pay good money for it because it's shit. Does that sound logical? Sounds logical to me. We're looking down now on uh, Alum Bay. Not Alum, but Alum. I don't know if you can see there. These are the famous kind of multicolored, pastel colored cliffs. And if you go to the, the kind of gift place, you can get a kind of vial of sand, which costs you about £9.99. Or you could just sort of scramble down the cliffs and collect your own, I suppose. I'm not sure where you'd get the vial from, though. You'd probably have to pay £8.99 for that. Anyway, clouds are quite nice, aren't they? Another fine sight. This is Freshwater Bay. So named because when it was discovered by Captain Cook back in the 1700s, 
he thought that this was fresh water. Now of course, as we know now, and has been proved many times over by scientists, this is not fresh water and Captain Cook was sorely mistaken and was actually subsequently prosecuted after poisoning all of his sailors with salt water. Isn't it nice? What I'm surprised about, I must say, is I've, I've been cycling this route on the Isle of Wight probably half a dozen times and I've rarely seen it so quiet. It really is deserted. Not peaceful in fact. Just the plashing of the waves, the sound of the surf. dulcet tones of my voice, which I could probably do without. Look how he read that rocks there in the background. And uh, in the foreground, this is Red Nap. And they're two dogs. Now you've heard of Rocky Road which is a type of biscuit. You've heard of Abbey Road, which is an album by the beat combo known as the Beatles. But this, you've heard of the King's Road, which is a road owned by the King in London. And this is the Military Road, so named uh, well, so named, I suppose, because it was built by the military in order to get tanks during the time of Napoleon to the south coast. Unfortunately, they were misinformed. So the tanks were unable to leave the Isle of Wight and Napoleon had no interest in the Isle of Wight for obvious reasons. Anyway, now we are on the military road. Not bad, is it? Fairly straight, a little bit rolling. Uh, it can be quite bleak and miserable, particularly if it's a wet and windy day. But it's not very windy today. It's cold. Otherwise, not unpleasant. Now what we have here is a man on a Vulcan. But it's not me, as you can probably guess. Doing well. Well then. Because I am on the Orbea. You see the old bear? Yeah. Well, we've reached the end of the military road and now we've stopped in the village of Chail and I'm going to eat a talk, explore, Bakewell tart flavour flapjack, which I must say I'm rather partial to. And you can see how big this flapjack is, because when I hold it up like that, it almost completely obscures the tower of that church. Isn't that amazing? Enormous flapjack. Look at that lamp there, look. It obscures the lamp. There is, there is the Orbea again, in front of the Chael Church. So after the climb up from Chael Church, we fair talked it along until we reached Ventnor, with a steep 
25% descent straight into a no entry sign. Blue sky again, sun shining, still bitterly cold, but we are having a very enjoyable time. Thank you very much. That's me. Well, obviously, it's me. I'm watching my bloody video. I'm watching who else is it? Um, I was watching uh, Julia Elliott, who's uh, another famous YouTuber. Well, I'm not saying I'm a famous YouTuber, but you know what I mean. And um, she's always doing that. She's kind of smiling at the camera. And I thought, well, if I do that, maybe I can get 100,000 subscribers. What do you think? Is it working or not? Leave a comment down below if you think it's working or not. I think you'd rather have a view of it, wouldn't you? Don't blame me, frankly. <laughs> well, here we are. We're sitting down in the restaurant, fish and chip restaurant in Ventnor. I'm not having fish and chips, uh, although I'm, I'm, I am having fish, uh, tuna. And the tuna doesn't come from the sea, doesn't it? It comes from a can. And I am having chips. Uh, Rachel sign because I've said this once before, but I can't switch the record button on it. Rachel is having a cheese sandwich with chips and a salad. Uh, make the mistake of saying to the waiter, have you got decaf coffee? Which of course caused of course, great amusement. The waitress went in and checked, came back and said, yes, they do have decaf coffee. So make sure he's having a decaf flat white with a cheese sandwich and chips and a salad. Because the waitress came out and said we have to charge for both. Still, I'm pretty peckish, got to say. Well, we've had to make a diversion because uh, the road was closed and now we're on the seafront at Sandown and we've chanced upon a classic car display classic Jaguar E-Type there next to a classic Ford Escort type I think we've run out of classic cars now we may also have run out of classic road stopping Right, well that's where we want to go, so if we go, can we get round here, that's the question. Uh, I think we may have to go down onto the seafront, go along the sand, what do you think? Well it turns out, it's a time trial, but not a cycling time trial, a motoring time trial. So there are classic cars that are bombing around this course, that you can't really see, avoiding these various obstacles, which you also can't see, uh, to see who can get the fastest time, which you also can't see. So, uh, anyway, we, oh, there goes a car, did you see that? No, you missed it. Come on, pay attention. Uh, we are going to have to try and follow a diversion so we can get round this and get back on our route. So, after being turned back, at the time trial we were trying to find a way round and we came across a very nice helpful lady who said she could get us through because she worked on the other side of the time trial we weren't convinced but she said she could so we walked with her for quite a while while she told us a story of how she got into the world toilets at Buckingham Palace and was therefore a person not to be trifled with. Unfortunately, she was unable to trifle with the security guard and so we were turned back. So we took a bit of a detour and now we've ended up at Bembridge Windmill, which is quite attractive, I must say. I've not seen this before. It looks like a possibly a working windmill although it's not working at the moment. Unemployed, perhaps. Rather nice though, isn't it? Opens on April the 12th, which is in uh, 10 days time. So we're a little bit early for the windmill. So we left Bembridge Windmill and the heavens opened. And we had about 10 minutes worth of pretty freezing rain which then stopped and the sun came out 
and it was really nice. Although still, and I may have said this before in this video, bloody cold. And we look down on this expanse of, well, sand, I think you what you call it, and the tide has gone out. So, you want to see me? So, a, well I've got to be honest, um, it's my birthday by the way, uh, today, 66, thanks for asking. Uh, many happy returns to me, there's that old Julia Elliot thing again. Um, what was I going to say? Really enjoyable ride, really nice to ride with my daughter as always. Um, could perhaps have been a tad warmer, tad, a tad warmer perhaps, but everything else was really great. Uh, sandwich was not too bad. The uh, cola it was not Diet Coke was revolting, but that was to be expected. The flapjack in the cafe in Yama was tasty, and the flat white was nice. Um, roads not too bad. Traffic not too bad. A couple of close passes only to be expected. Uh, not very busy today on the Isle of Wight. Uh, early in the season, I suppose, but uh, an enjoyable time was had by all. So thank you for watching this video. If you like my videos, please like, click the notification bell, please subscribe and see you next time.